Welcome to Workshop Wednesday, where we take you into our workshop once a week. I'm Steph. And I'm Vicki. And we're just gonna get into it. So the projects that we're working on are, do you know what holiday's coming up? Thanksgiving. Hmm, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, maybe yeah. Christmas. Maybe Christmas. Uh, yeah, it's already on our mind. So we are actually working on an alternative kind of Christmas tree that you can use all year round. So we have our materials and we are gonna start that build very soon. Probably next week we'll have something more to show you yes, besides yes. material. So that's what we are working on. If you're working on something fun, let us know in the comments oh, yeah, below. I, I would love to know what yeah, you're working on Yeah, that'd right be now. awesome. Um, and on Monday we asked you guys what you wanted a closer look at, what tool you want a closer look at, and you guys overwhelmingly said the Gorilla Cart. So let's head on over. Right over here, let's take a look. And now we're gonna share about the garden cart. We got this about a month and a half ago. And we bought it in anticipation of putting some heavy stuff in it that we knew we were going to need to be able to move around the garage. This actually will hold about 1,200 pounds of weight. All of the sides do come off if you want to just use it like a flatbed. One of the things I really, really like about this is it moves so easily. It moves over like the sidewalks and driveway, but also on rough terrain. We actually use this to put stuff in it to clean up the to clean up the outside prior to the hurricane and then afterwards we put all of the stuff in it, tree debris and things like that, took it across the street and it worked really, really well. A couple of things I don't really love about this, it really is a little hard to open the back of this and sometimes these will fall out mm -hmm. and you just have to be mindful of that, but it's that's not really a big deal. This plastic I think is a little flimsy for use in here, uh, something a little tougher would be a little bit better. And when we first got it, um, if you follow us on Instagram, then you will see uh, how we tested it out. Our security camera caught us testing it out. So we'll put a link below if you want to see see how that went. <laughs> We've really been very, very pleased with this. Uh, I never thought about getting a garden cart, but now I can't imagine having not having one. It's really been a good addition to our tools. And now we're going to head to Steph's house, and she's going to share a project follow-up. Welcome to Project Follow Up. I'm here at my house and I'm in my Lego room. Uh, I am a fan of Legos if that has not been clear yet. Uh, but I have a room that is kind of dedicated to my collection. And a couple years ago, probably about three years ago, we were, um, mom and I were kind of looking at this wall and thinking it'd be nice to have some shelves in here, some places to put little Lego sets. And that's when we came up with these shelves. So these have been here about three years. They're very simple design. It's just angle iron, wood, and some screws. And we came up with this design because we just wanted it to look like they were floating and small shelves. And they've held up really well. They're very strong. Um, they're, they're not going anywhere. They would hold really things that are heavier than Legos for sure. Um, but they, they've held up well. My nephews have climbed up here and grabbed sets before and there's been no issues. Uh, so I would say if I needed some more small shelves, I would definitely keep going with this design because it's worked out well for us. And if you want a link to the original post, I'll put it below. And um, yeah, if you have any more questions about these or any of the other projects we've done in the past, let us know in the comments. Hey Steph, that was really cool. I love seeing those little shelves again. Woo, man, I gotta run over here. It took me forever. Yeah, because you have those short little legs. Oh, <laughs> so what's next? Next up is our favorite thing. And we're going from little toys to a big toy. And back in the 80s, I bought a toy called Omagles, and it was a building toy. My kids absolutely loved playing with it. We had it for years and years and years. But Steph was doing a little bit of internet searching and found a toy that was exactly like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I actually saw this on a TV show on ABC, um, and this is called Two Blocks. And this is basically exactly what Omagles was, but they make it new, new now. Brand new. Like, you don't have to find like old Omagles on eBay. Um, so I saw this, and I said, Mom, we got to get this for the nephews and niece. And uh, so we did. The kids have just had a lot of fun playing with it. Uh, it's now called Two Blocks, Locks, I Two believe. Blocks. Yeah. And uh, we still call it Omagles in yes. our household. But basically, it's like PVC pipe. And um, it's like PVC pipe that has a hole in it. Mm -hmm. So you line up the holes and then you put the little connectors in. And you can make all sorts of things. Here you can see my nephews created this cool jungle gym and they put some wheels. They made the wheels like security cameras, I think they were calling them. And then here my niece is uh, riding on a little cart that we made. Tyler made a little uh, weight, weight bench, bench <laughs> with it. And then Andrew and Ava are playing with a little slide. So it can make so many different things with it. And once you've made something, you can take it apart. And that's what Andrew and Tyler are doing right here. We have updated what uh, we used to do when we were kids. We actually have little storage places for all the pieces apart so they don't get lost. 
Uh, but you can just put the pieces together. You can see the boys can do it really easily themselves. Andrew right here is just taking it apart so he can build something new. And they um, then here is Tyler just lining up the holes and putting the clip in so that the pieces stay nice and secure. And here you can see Tyler needed just a little bit of help from uh, from mom right here, but mostly they are pretty independent with this toy. She's helping get this lined up here. And once everything is nice and secure, it's really fun to play on and the boys uh, made a little telephone system here which they were really excited about. As you can see, both the boys are on this toy, it can hold both their weight and it's fairly stable. Yeah, I can sit on it too and it doesn't break, so it's pretty, it's pretty stable. And the instructions actually say three to 99, so if you're thinking you have to have a kid to get this toy, <laughs> You do not. That was our excuse, but you know, you could be you could be any age really. Yes. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. And it's a STEM toy, and it's really an investment toy. Yep. This is something that's going to carry them from now to you know high school. High school, high school age. Me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's so much, so many things they can do. They can use their their minds and be very creative with it. Yeah. So we're not sponsored by them, but we just wanted to share that because it is one of our favorite things and it's, it's building related. It's building and related. And we really so, enjoy yes. it. <laughs> we do want to give a shout out to one of you. Um, Riza sent us a message and showed us a project that she worked on. So here is her before and here's her after. This is pretty cool. She made a little play kitchen for her granddaughter. She said she's still working on a, um, an oven door and a light, but it looks perfect to me. So uh, great job with that, Riza, and thank you so much for sharing that. And if you guys have something that you're working on and you want to share with us, there's a link below that you can uh, share that and we'll possibly share it on the show. That's right. Also, in the links below, you can sign up to get our newsletter and we send that out once a week. On Monday on Facebook, we'll again post three questions so you can help us determine what you want to see on Workshop Wednesday. Thank you all for joining us. Today's actually Tuesday, so we're going to go vote. <laughs> Bye. Bye.